very good morning to all of you today this is the last lecture of logic design it's about state reduction table and reduced state diagram you are already aware with state diagram and state table or you can say transition table with the help of transition table or state table we draw state diagram okay now we will learn how to minimize that state diagram what is the advantage of reduced state diagram in this less states are required so less hardware will be required and cost will be less so this is the basic advantage of your state reduction table and reduced state diagram okay when we implement any hardware by using reduced state diagram we will use less number of logic gates okay this is the basic difference between state table or reduced state table in this suppose you have six states and for this you require three flip flops but if you reduce those six states in three states then in that case we require only two flip flop so hardware requirement will be less suppose this is your state diagram okay suppose this is your state diagram there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 states okay now we will draw state table with the help of this state diagram this is your state table or you can say transition table a present state is a and it is going in next state a at x equal to 0 at x equal to 1 it is going to b and output is 0 when x equal to 0 and x equal to when 1 its output is 0 okay you can see from here when a equal to 0 output is 0 it is going in same state means no transition when a equal to 1 it is going to b and output is 0 similarly from b b to c when it shall be 0 it is going to c state and output is 0 and when b equal to 1 it is going to d state okay output is 0 similarly for c d and in this way you can make your state table now this is your state table now we have to reduce this state table so that less number of states are required or less hardware is required in this a b c d e f g there are total seven states okay now what is the rule what is the algorithm for this two states are said to be equivalent if for each member of the set of inputs if they give exactly the same output and send the circuit either either to the same state or to an equivalent state what is the significance of this it means when we are going from present state to next state if at x equal to 0 at x equal to 1 next states are same and outputs are same at x equal to 0 at x equal to 1 you can see here e and g are equivalent why these two are equivalent e and g because next states at x equal to 0 at x equal to 1 a and f are same again the output are same at x equal to 0 output is 0 at x equal to 1 output is 1 uh, similarly 0 1 so you can say e and g are equivalent state so you can eliminate any one state okay we will eliminate g state so where there is g just write down e okay here i removed g state okay and here just go here at where is g i already eliminated this state because e and g are equivalent so where there is g just write down what e because e equal to g so where is g here 
ओके हियर आई विल राइट डाउन वट आई विल राइट डाउन ई ओके आई विल राइट डाउन ई सो यू कैन सी आई राइट आई रोट हियर ई ओके नाउ अगेन फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सी नाउ अगेन दीज टू स्टेट्स आर इक्वलेंट डी एंड एफ ओके बिकॉज नेक्स्ट स्टेट आर ई सेम एंड एफ एफ सेम आउटपुट एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो आउटपुट एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन वन आउटपुट सो अगेन यू कैन एलिमिनेट दिस एफ स्टेट एंड वेर दियर इज एफ जस्ट राइट डाउन डी बिकॉज डी एंड एफ आर इक्वलेंट सो जस्ट only five states are now required a b c d e now where there is f just write down d because f and d are equivalent states so just write down d similarly write down d okay now this f is eliminated this is called your what reduced state table okay now with the help of this reduced state table we will draw state diagram and that diagram is called reduced state diagram now only 1 2 3 4 5 only five states are required so when you will implement by using hardware okay by using flip flops and logic gates less hardware will be used so speed will be more cost will be less this is the advantage of reduced state table and reduced state diagram okay this is the last topic of your logic design okay i gave my best effort whatever i can give okay now it's your turn you have to give your best thank you so much for watching have a nice day happy learning